first awesome uh, battle find of the day. I don't know if you guys can see that. <sighs> okay, here we go. It's whole. It's a cork. Wow. I don't see anything on it. But I don't care. <laughs> I've never found one of these before. That's sweet. Number one. See that? more. You got one? I know I didn't touch it before. I could look at it. Over here. That could possibly be a hobble screen. That one? Right here. See it's right down here? Oh yeah. I'll let you grab it. <laughs> I was looking at this other thing. This. What the hell is this? One of them again. That one does break. It looks like a rod. Yeah. That does. This doesn't, but it's not. Nothing? Nothing. Yeah. Right. Okay. There's a coat. A hobble skirt. <laughs> Give me a second here. <laughs> uh, one's from San Antonio earlier. Chicago. We'll check the date here in a minute. All right, I think I got another mud here. Almost the same area where the last one was. See it down in there? Oh, please be whole, baby. Heck yeah. It is. Wow. Awesome. And this one's embossed. Foley and Company. Chicago, USA. Yay! Number two. There's two of them in there. Two big ones. Two catfish. It's a little slimy. Oh, I see his tail. That's the other one going, the other one's sticking his head out. Oh, wow. I wonder how big that tube is, how far that goes in. Come on, you little one. No. <laughs> All right. Hey, come up here. Check this out. Jason, look at this stuff sitting up, hanging out of the edge under this tree. Dump, dump city, man. There's tons of old, there's stuff up here in the bank. Okay. I bet you it's gonna be meant if it's not broke. We've been working hard here. Where'd it go? Right oh, there. right there. What? Okay. It's a marble. Jason just saw it. Here we go. Come on. 
ketchup and mustard. Do you think? That's Ooh, that's a corkscrew. That is crazy Sorry. funny. We were just talking about yeah. it. I know, like the ads. It's kind of like just the other day. I was messing around. Well, now we know we got to keep our eyes out. That's funny. It's got orange on it too. That's freaking old. Sweet. Yay! Yeah. Got something. Awesome! Yes! Yours. No, oh, it's cracked. I just cracked it. That's okay. Still. <sighs> there we go. Oh. Well, hey everybody. So this was a really slow uh, weekend of hunting. This is about it. <laughs> Which I can't complain. I'll never complain. You'll never hear me complain because I found my first two uh, cork. One's an extract and the other one is a quinine medicine. Foley and Company. Whoops. Chicago, USA. Why are those printed so funky on the bottles? Or embossed, it drives me crazy. Never know which way to hold it. Um. Oh boy, I don't even know where to start. It's a 1024 Dr. Pepper. This one I kept for my son because he, him and I both have a love for the Joshua trees. And this was a Sprite from Joshua Tree National Monument. I think it was a late 60s version of the Sprite bottle. This I kept, cool, kind of quilted diamond pattern, Art Deco-ish, I want to say. And uh, this whiskey flask. And those are Thunderbirds, which is awesome. So, there's that. We've got a Batavia Dairy Company milk. Embossed from Batavia, Illinois. And it's a little beat up, but not bad for a river fine. Two Cokes that were kept this far. The Pat D, which is my favorite Jason's find. Ah. San Antonio, Texas. Very cool. This one's a uh, patent office. It's from uh, Indianapolis. Another embossed bottle find. <laughs> yeah, damage. Solution citrate of magnesia with the instructions of use for adults and children. Kind of cool. That's it's an Owens, Illinois glass mark on there. Fluted jar of some sort. There's a Sloan's liniment. Jason found that. I thought it was cool. He wanted to throw it away, and I said, no, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I found a glass rose. Obviously modern. I don't know, maybe it was on a stem. Very pretty. Cleaned up beautifully. So for the dump finds, a gnarly insulator. This is the second one of the same type I have actually now. Squirrel man we call him with the key from the dump. <laughs> Some small meds and probably a perfume right there. This really cool shape one. This is a murine eye drops and it actually I just thought it was funny to keep the whole thing intact. Usually you know this stuff is disintegrated. This cellulite plastic and all that and this one I kept it intact too isn't that terrible <laughs> I don't know 
it just makes me laugh. That's what's left of it. And then these. I think this is blush. It's a really hard plastic. I haven't opened it yet. Very cool uh, cosmetic container. A figurine head. And a doll head. A Tootsie toy. I mean, this, I had it wet earlier, but that's actually the Cracker Jack guy. My son helped me to identify this thing. And yes, there is embossing inside there, but you're not going to see it right now. It was a Cracker Jack special. I forgot what year he told me those came out with. He, he knew immediately. And then a pocket watch that I was sifting through the pile for marbles and can still see right there the hand and there's a lot of broken glass and stuff punched in there from being compressed in that dump for so long a few buttons stopper I think that's a shot glass lid for a booze bottle back in the day it's actually pretty cool and then the marbles none of which I found which I'm fine with. They're Jason's prizes. That glows. This is cool. And that, what did, what did we think? Patch and ribbon, possibly? Yeah, some, some kind of patch and ribbon. And this might be a ketchup and mustard. Came out of the river today. Got some little beat up river rash but it's cool so that's it all right thanks for watching everybody we got one more day to go here and we'll see never give up like they say okay good night